amazing that children from first to eighth grade can do this in four days. Um, above and beyond that, this is a homegrown <coughs> play. Um, Colette, Jensen, and myself would get together and write. And in the very beginning, Colette called me, I don't know, maybe I'm Jen, she said, so do you want to do this again this year? And I went, she said, do you have an idea of what we could do? And I said, yes, I do. I want to put mice in the wall to run a radio station. <laughs> and she said, what? <laughs> well, we started collaborating, and Colette and I have done this two years now, and we just have so much fun getting together and thinking of bizarre things. And, um, Anyway, so I'm going to read this to you. This is actually the synopsis of the play. But I want to make sure that you know exactly what's going on. First of all, up here it says, Welcome to Fancy Powder Room, North Dakota. You may be asking, where is this town? Simple. It is just east of South Bedroom and south west of Shabby Kitchen. The three towns are located inside the north wall of a dilapidated farmhouse once owned by Old Farmer Joe, a famous, uh, I can't even pronounce that, but it is um, the scientific name for mouse, amphitheater. The famous opera singer Speaker Pavarotti once performed here. Uh, please recognize our story is told through the inner workings of WMICE. Easy listening. The local radio station. Heads up for you lactose intolerance audience members. The stories being reported are cheesy, but our characters are even cheesier. And quickly, the synopsis. Have you ever had a mouse skitter across your kitchen floor? Did you jump, scream, and then think, where did that mouse come from? Well, watching our stage performance tonight will probably give you a clue. The producer of radio station WMIC Easy Listening, Mr. Berman, has difficulty keeping up, excuse me, keeping up, keeping employees, and keeping sanity. It is revealed that not only is there a very cross section of employees at the radio station, but is revealed that not only is there a very cross section, I'm sorry, I can't see the cross-section um, of employees at the radio station, but situations constantly pop up to make life at the station very interesting. Throw in the invasion of four rats determined to take over fancy powder room in North Dakota for their own, and life gets complicated and pretty scary. The town folk are determined to keep their home just as it is with no rats. Number one reason, Rats have been, have been known to enjoy a mouse as a tasty treat. Yikes. Please sit back and enjoy the interesting reports, solutions, and community info coming to you from WMIC Easy Listening. It will make time fly by while you wait for the outcome of the threat to wonderful family powder room North Dakota. And I hope you all enjoy. We will wait for your laughter and then carry on. Thank you.
go live. Where is Miss Meek? She should be here with a friend of news script. How can writers miswrite C for any eight cats when they'll, they know rats are the real problem? Rats travel in gays, cats are independent. There are real problems in South Bedford. Those problems are headed our way. The last thing we need here is rats and fancy powder from North Dakota. Me, where's that script? Here, Mr. Bandy. What? Where? Down here, sir. Miss Me, would you please put some effort into growing up? <laughs> I have neither the time nor the desire to constantly look for you. And would you please speak up? Don't be such a pinky. Where's our news reporter? If you are referring to Hunk McDreamy, he just got off the hamster at the gym and he should be here in class. His words, not mine. <laughs> There's less than one minute to go, and if Hunk's in your time, you, buddy, are filling in. Here, take the script. Be ready. But I can't do the news. Other mics laugh and hear my stupid voice. <laughs> news is serious! You are the production assistant, and you fill dead spots. It's in the fine print of your contract. Nobody told me to read the fine print. <laughs> I need the sound engineer. Bunny, bunny loudly. Here, Mr. Vernon, what's up? I need a commercial to fill time, just in case. Maybe more than Give me three. <laughs> okay, okay. Sales pitch or political ads? <sighs> Surprise. Done deal. Hey, Spinner. That's my name, man. <laughs> so we have 15 minutes of golden oldies. Only if it's tunes from the 60s. None of that big rock and roll. That stuff is lame. <laughs> right now, so we have polka music. Don't better be here. What's polka? Is it like dots or something? <laughs> Cheesy, C 
CEO told reporters at the scene of the fire that the cheese, which is recovered, is free to the public. So, first come, first serve. So you better get down there to get your free cheese. Now for some upbeat, exciting news. The yearly Miss Mouse pageant will be held, held, held June 12th this year. And we are thrilled to have our reigning Miss Mouse Summer Blossom here with us today. May I call you Summer? My friends call me Summer. All right then, Miss Blossom. <laughs> would you please would you please give us the information we will need to attend the event? <coughs> Certainly, Mr. McDreamy, the Miss Mouse Patrick will be held at Paul McDonald's Granary on his farm. The festivities will begin once all the dog named cats are asleep. And to buy the the brand new things and turn right at the scoop show. The season is available in the full bucket with your reserve ticket. All others in attendance must scatter to find a spot. All McDonald's Millet from last season will be available at the concession stand. Millet! I would like to thank WMIC Easy Lifting for giving me this opportunity to promote the annual Fancy Powder Room Miss Mouse Pack. And thank you, Miss, Miss Summer. Remember, June 12th, Old McDonald's Bay.
with ultimate features like squeak to squeak messaging and the cheese finder app. Mice everywhere will be scurrying to get their paws on it. It's got all the latest apps. Yeah, like Micmoc, Cheese Chat, and Instagram. You can really make out your Instagram. And don't forget the best mouse feature, the mouse guard app. This is the ultimate defense against those bites. I can answer that. I got a bottle of list up off a of 
Dusty's cleaning her. This stuff has peppermint oil in it. The bathroom's reek of peppermint oil. This stuff won't call a mouse from a mile away. Dusty, what were you thinking? Can't you smell the peppermint oil? What? Where is it for? Can't you smell the peppermint oil? No, oh, I can't smell anything. Allergies. <laughs>
are too narrow. And besides, we put up catnip everywhere. Yes, we want to nip the cat right in the butt. <laughs>
done for the day? Take your ride home.
again and again. It is, it is better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> and now we're now to Shooter Blitz, the best sports guy around. They just don't make enough better. <laughs> I crack myself up. <laughs> I'm hilarious and honks. <laughs>
back. You brought them in gone. Sure, but why? It wasn't an accident. It was no accident. I tried to make friends, and this lady started stomping on me, kicking me, and then her family joined in. That's a simple compared to people. People be crazy. <laughs>